Okay, in this video, I want to go through sketching a curve that looks like this. y is equal to x plus 4 times x squared plus 2x plus 9. Now, we have skills by this point that will be telling us, well, I know that it's going to be crossing through minus 4 on the x-axis. I should also be able to work out where it crosses the y-axis, because that's through multiplying the 4 by the 9. Okay, so it's going to go through 36. But then, what else do we know? Well, we've got this quadratic here. That's something we're definitely going to have to investigate. So currently, we have a picture where we have it crossing through minus 4 and then up on the y-axis at 36, okay? Now, what happens after that, or between, or whatever, okay? What's going on? Well, let's have a look at this quadratic. Our first idea would be, can it be factorised? Now, in order to do that, uh, I would have to have at least a... Um, a discriminant that isn't negative. So let's check up the discriminant. b squared minus 4ac is 2 squared, take away 4 times 1 times 9. So we're going to get 4 take away 36, which is minus 32. So this cannot be factorised. So we know that the curve does not cross the x-axis again. It is only crossing the x-axis at minus 4. From there on, how does it behave? Well, you know, from this information that we have now, there's not much else we can do, OK? So for core 1, knowledge, the next step would really be going a little bit further along to look at differentiation. OK, so if this is uh, the first time you're learning about sketching cubics, then this is as far as our mathematics can get us at this point. Now, differentiation is a part of core one. OK, so if you have learned differentiation by this point, then we can move on and use that. So. I'm going to have to expand the brackets first before I do any kind of differentiating. So if you've never met differentiation before, stop the video now, OK? And we can leave this here. This is more of an extension problem than anything else, OK? So we're going to expand those brackets out. We're going to get an x cubed. We're going to get uh, x times 2x, so 2x squared. We're going to get x times 9. We're going to get 4 times x squared, uh, 4 times 2x, and 4 times 9. So we get y is equal to x cubed plus 6x squared plus 17x plus 36. Okay? We would then have to differentiate it. The reason why I'm going to differentiate it is I want to find stationary points. OK, so dy by dx is equal to 3x squared plus 12x plus 17. OK, now I need to determine if this can ever be 0. If it can be 0, then there are stationary points. Now, to determine whether it can be 0, OK, whether it crosses effectively the dy by dx, or whether it crosses that axis, I can use the discriminant again, OK? So if the discriminant is negative, then this will have no solutions. So let's check that. So we're effectively doing the discriminant again. So this time we're going to have 12 squared, take away 4 times 3 times 17. So 144, now that's 12 times 17. So 17 times by 12, 2 7s are 14, 2, 3, 0, 7, 1, so 4, 2, 0, 4. So 144 take away 204 
gets me down to minus 60. Now that's clearly negative, okay? So that means that there are no solutions to dy by dx equals zero, which means that there are no stationary points. So the curve does not make this shape, okay? That would mean that there are stationary points there and there. So at no point does this curve come back on itself, okay? At some point, the curve must be going through minus 4, and it must also come round. I expect it's probably be a little bit steeper than that. So let's try that again. I would imagine it does something like that, but it's never going to get to that horizontal um, part of the curve because there's no stationary points and so then af thereafter it must just keep on increasing. So it's a bit of a strange cubic this one. It's probably not how we might expect it to behave but what it is showing is that there is some versatility to the types of curves that we could be meeting at this stage and we're only using a little bit of extended knowledge here um, in order to solve the problem. But I would check that out on either Desmos or Autograph, some graphing package, um, so you can see exactly what it looks like.